This will be a simple guide to meditation. Now, I was never interested in meditation. I always thought it was something that people did to some more spiritual. <laughs> Until one time, I was feeling really sick at night. I had a high temperature, I had taken all the possible pills, my soul pain, my body was exhausted, and I was suggested to try meditation. Without much belief in it, I decided to try it because um, there was nothing else that I hadn't tried, so this was more of a desperate move for me. So somehow, crawling up on the bed with my stomach in pain, I put myself in the lotus position and really concentrated and started meditating. To my great surprise, it worked. After the meditation, my pain, I didn't even notice how it was gone. My body was relieved and I fell asleep. The next day I couldn't believe what had just happened to me, you know. And since then I started meditating more often and meditation has helped me with my um, insomnia, whether it was anxiety, whether I had a headache and with migraines or um, other pain in my body because when I get nervous or I've had a really stressful day, I tend to have pain in my knees and meditation always works. And what I learned by meditating and the message that I want to pass through is that we don't realize the amount of control we actually have. To feel pain or not to feel pain, to feel a certain way. We can command our mind to feel scared, to feel down and exhausted, or to feel relaxed and confident and in peace. And uh, I think that's the problem that most people have that, uh, you know, that same attitude as I had before towards meditation. That it's just something, you know, silly people do and don't realize the amount of power that it gives to them over their own body. And meditation is not difficult. Today I will show you the simple technique that I used that night and have been using ever since. Okay? The first thing that you need to do when you want to start meditating is to make sure you cancel out all the possible external noises that may be bothering you. Maybe the processor of your computer is too loud or um, turn off your phone because if there are messages popping up and it's ringing then it will distract your mind and meditation it's concentration. Meditation is about achieving the complete state of thoughtlessness and balanced breathing, okay? So make sure that you cancel out all the possible noises. Then what you will need to do is to make sure that the room or the place where you are is lighted in a way that it's comfortable for you. So it's preferred that the room where you're meditating is um, lit with a low light or maybe you turn off the lights completely. Of course you can meditate during the day too, um, it's just that you have to feel comfortable with the lighting in the place that you're meditating. And uh, last but not least, or should I say most importantly, is that you have to find put yourself into the lotus pose. Now, you can meditate while you're sitting or uh, laying down, you know, you can meditate as long as your body has the potential to relax and let go, because that's very important. And uh, if you do all this three steps, then we can start already meditating. All right. Now if you've placed yourself in a comfortable position, we can begin. Now close your eyes. Concentrate on your breathing. Feel how the straw of air 
is going through your nostrils into your body and breathe out with your mouth. It is important that you breathe in with your nose and breathe out with your mouth. When we breathe in with our mouth, then we don't get enough oxygen to our heart and our brain. Our heart and our brain can get enough oxygen only when we're breathing with our nose. So inhale with your nose. Feel how the oxygen is feeling, your brain, your heart, all of your body. 